focus this time around is going to be commercial refrigeration systems specifically related to things like reach-in freezers and reach-in refrigerators. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be comparing domestic refrigeration systems with commercial refrigeration systems to make it easy for you to understand how to troubleshoot and service these types of systems. We're also going to be discussing the different types of refrigerants that you're going to be using in these systems and some of the components that apply specifically to commercial refrigeration systems. We're also going to be using a resource guide. This resource guide that comes packed with your video shows you, first of all, the agenda that we're going to be using and the items as we're going to be covering them. And you'll also notice that within your resource guide, we have various illustrations and we also have various wiring diagrams so that we can discuss these commercial refrigeration systems, how to troubleshoot both the refrigeration and the electrical systems. Also in your resource guide is a series of quiz questions that we're going to be presenting near the end of the video training program as well as at the beginning so that first of all you can find out what we're going to be covering and also what you know now and then you're going to be able to review that material and find out what you learned as you went through the video training program. So that's what we're going to be doing as we cover commercial refrigeration systems related to reach-in freezers and reach-in refrigerators. What we're going to do is get started with some graphics that compare capillary tube systems that we find in domestic refrigeration systems and thermostatic expansion valve systems that we find in commercial refrigeration. Now what we want to do to begin our program here is talk a little bit about the two types of refrigeration systems that you may encounter in reach-in freezers and reach-in refrigerators. What we're going to do is we're going to focus on this one here on the left first. This is a simple capillary tube system that's been used for many years in domestic refrigerators and freezers, but we also want to point out that it's possible that you may find this type of system in a commercial reach-in refrigerator or reach-in freezer. Standard metering device that measures the same exact volume into the evaporator no matter what the load on the unit is. However, on the right over here, we want to point out that there's another type of metering device and another type of refrigeration system referred to as a thermostatic expansion valve. The point here is that this thermostatic expansion valve uses a sensing bulb that fastens to the suction line. And the job of the thermostatic expansion valve here is to sense the amount of heat load on the evaporator. And if that heat load increases, then the thermostatic expansion valve adjusts for that and allows more refrigerant into the evaporator. In the event that the heat load drops, the thermostatic expansion